I gotta give a shout out to the Passport Bros, and I'm gonna explain why. I'm giving my shout out to the Passport Bros, because if it was not for the Passport Bros, I would still be miserable, stuck, being played with in the dating game here in the States. You're gonna get played back home, you're gonna get played overseas. Overseas are even worse. Man, I, I tell you what, if it was not for y'all, I would not be talking to Look at this, look what they're showing. To today in Ethiopia. Ethiopia. Like, I would have never thought it would have went any further than These just... guys are idiots, man. One of the poorest country on the world. You're going to find a partner in one of the poorest country in the world. Instagram. Now it's like we're WhatsApping each other and video calling each other like every day. And I salute These guys the are going to Africa now. Because they woke me up to better. Better is out there. Foreign women treat you better. And they are not lying. Guys, get your passports. Don't. Stop. Stop. Being that's the whole movement get your passport what does that do and miserable and and heartbroken in this crazy dating scene in the states yeah it's just crazy in the states right it's, it's, it's all not crazy overseas either there's plenty plenty of better women out there trust me these are the and there's plenty of better men out there than you that's for sure top travel destinations for passport bro check this out right check this out in 2023 let's hear these in no particular order number one thailand Number of course, Pattaya, that's the kind of place that they go, Pattaya. They go to Pattaya because why? Because they are sex pads, man. That's why they go to places like Pattaya, right? These are red light districts, man. Number two, Croatia. I don't know about Croatia. I don't hear that. Number three, Brazil. Of course, they go into Brazil because that's their fetish, man. A lot of these guys have a fetish for exotic women. That's why they go into Brazil. Four, we all know this one, Colombia. Yeah, of course you know about Colombia. Colombia, Medellin, Colombia. What's that? Number one brothel in Latin America, if not the world. It's a brothel, man. Go, go Google it. And at number five, Philippines. Yeah, Philippines, one of the most impoverished nations in Asia. That's why you go in there. People living in shacks, desperate to come out of poverty. Passport bros on the rise. Let's go. Passport bros are winning. And it's Passport bros ain't winning, Jack. Man, what are you talking about? The only thing Passport bros are winning is how to be the biggest simp overseas. Continuing to slowly trend. But now we're starting to see more foreign people give their opinion about Passport men. I saw this clip here from the social scoop. Let's get into it and break it down. Passport bros. Can you explain that to me again? So like... I'm, okay, I'm not like 100% sure. I just started like started seeing it on TikTok. But it's like when guys, I think it's particularly in the States, like they they leave to go to like Southeast Asia or just Asia. So many people are going to Southeast Asia. Yeah, to yeah. like find wives there and then bring them back. I like find like a Vietnamese girl or like a Filipino. Yeah, yeah, Vietnamese. You saw that video on my page, right? Vietnamese. You see how that worked out for that guy, right? Filipino girl and then like bring them back. Yeah. You're wrong about that part, sir. These men are not bringing these women back to the States. And I'm not sure if all these guys are looking for a wife. Yeah, they're not bringing them back to the States because why? Because of the competition back home. They know that, you know, they're at risk of losing that female if they bring them back to the States. They looking for a girlfriend, maybe. But, uh, you know, a lot of these passport bros are wild. Yeah, see, this is the thing with this passport bro movement. You're looking for a GF. Okay, so what traditional, because these guys like to talk about traditional, what traditional opposite gender out there in these countries is going to just be your GF with no prospect of a wedding ring? No, the, the, you have going to have to get married. If they're traditional, they're not going to get with you unless you are planning to get married, man. That's the reality. That's traditional. Traditional means you get married. So why these guys talk about traditional, then they say, oh, we're not getting married. That's how you know this passport row movement is just a load of crap, man. Pfizer, and they're not running right to the altar right away. They're just looking for a girlfriend, not necessarily a wife. It was, it was something to do with how, like, they, they are sex pots, man. Let's keep it real. They couldn't find partners here because they're all too, like, woke feminist or whatever. 
I see that happening, though. Mm. That's the thing. It's so sad, but I see that happening. It's not just for, for Asia, too. I think it's just generally they go to Southeast yeah, Asia, but yeah, it's like yeah. everywhere. Even China, too. A lot of people come to China. Maybe for work or for something, mm, but yeah. then they like focus on like Chinese girls or like Asian girls. You know mm. what I mean? I think for them, they might, be, they might think it's like easier, which is disgusting, guys. Like, uh, stop. No. All like that. No. Yeah. I think it's easier in the sense that like Eastern like c countries haven't caught up with like the level of correctness that uh, Western countries have. What do you mean correctness? Political correctness. So then they're not. Oh. No, no, no. Listen, it ain't got nothing to do with political correctness. It's about poverty. They go in as locations that are poverty stricken, right? And the reason why they go in there is to use that American dollar as leverage right that's what they're doing they're doing that to use the american dollar as leverage old men why think in the philippines you got a 70 year old man with a 19 year old because it's because they're in poverty it's nothing it's no other reason why it's not because they're less politically correct it's because of poverty oh okay yeah. i see i see i see I agree. That's right. I like the fact that she kept it real and said that Chinese men are going to Thailand just as much as American Western men. Well, I mean, she didn't even say that. She said guys are going to China. I mean, this guy ain't even listening. Right now in Thailand, I think Russians has been the largest group to come in to Thailand this year. So that's what people see a lot of. That's all I see right now in Thailand is I see a lot of Chinese and Russian men. A lot of you guys aren't fixing the real problem. If you struggle with getting girls here, you will probably struggle getting girls there. Will girls see that you're American, hear you're American, and probably give you a better treatment? Yes, but is that genuine burning desire? No! These girls see you with a dollar sign above your head. When you lead with money, you're gonna get- Of course you're a cash cow in, 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 in these countries. But it's the same thing in the Western world. You're a cash cow in the Western world. The only difference is it takes more cash in the western world man girls that want you for money of course there are foreign women with bad attention but what is this crappy showing on the screen man there's also some very traditional women in these countries and it's so so he goes and talk about see this the hypocrisy you just said these guys ain't looking for to get married now you're saying they're traditional this guy i mean see you, they expose themselves man these passport bros they just using buzzwords the whole movement is a front for guys who want to indulge in their fetishes overseas, you know. And if it's not, not going out there to indulge in their fetishes, they're going out there because, you know, they're basically, they can't get nothing back home in the States or they can't get nothing young back home in the States. So they're using their cash. They're basically being sugar daddies out there in these countries. That's what the Passport Bro movement is. It's a front. These ain't traditional dudes, man. He just exposed it by saying they're not looking to even find a wife. So how are they traditional? How are they getting with traditional? What they're getting with is hookers, man. They're getting with hookers. They're getting with strippers. They're getting with massage girls. That's what they're getting with, man. This passport bro movement is just a con. And don't fall for it. It's a bunch of loser low tier men pretending that they're winning when in reality when you actually look at the case studies and the examples of the guys out there, they are failing miserably, man. It's an 80% chance that these men will find that good woman. Who told you 80% chance? That's just some made up statistic. There's no statistics on this. With straight up good values. And these guys would rather take their chances dating overseas than in the States. American opposite gender don't want average men to have. They don't care about you, man. I mean. And no hate to my man right here, but somebody need to let him know that that dating coach stuff is dead. All these dating coaches call themselves teaching guys game. You really don't need game dating foreign women in these countries. All you really need. Look, look, does that look like traditional to you? I mean, Colombia, I mean, Colombia is even more loose than, than the West. I mean, this is the hypocrisy of these passport bros. Like, they're not, you're going to Colombia, right? Colombia is worse than the Western world. It's, you know, it's got more crime. You know, I mean, the the the, the females are out there. I mean, Medellin is a 
is an open brothel worse than anywhere in the western world but these are the same guys who call the western opposite gender hoes and sluts but yet they go into colombia they go into medellin Colum this is a hypocrisy the whole movement is a joke man anybody with a three digit iq can tell that this whole movement is nonsense it's a scam most of these guys promoting this i mean look at this crap are these traditional like we are they're hookers that. man and listen this is the cancer these failures in this country and instead of admitting you're a the failures and of course the failures in the western world because they say they're leaving the western world what's that guy austin holloman is that bad so you're leaving the western world because of the opposite gender so that means you ain't got really nothing going for you in the western world if the opposite gender is pushing you out of the western world you ain't got nothing going for you in the western world and you ain't got nothing going for you in those countries either because how many of you guys starting up businesses you never talk about going to these countries for tax reasons these guys claim they got cash out there which they don't have any cash they never talk about going out to these countries to save on tax they never talk about going out to these countries to start real businesses not some crap rinky dinky restaurants that they start out then now that's not real business that's just a joke i'm talking about real businesses they ain't succeeding out there in these countries they have failed that's why most of them are gonna come running back home with their tail between their legs man failure and a loser and just shut up and accept you just shut the air up exactly problems. so you steal all of our talent you yeah. steal all of our yeah. now you're gonna steal our women because we know how to raise them right you piece of why you humiliate us for supposedly being misogynistic everything we did with these women was disgusting and wrong but now you're going to come and marry him and what are you going to put back in its place okay so so what he mean when he says you humiliate us what he's saying is that when these guys they say oh these men they beat up their their, their wives or whatever right this is basically what the Western man says. The Western man is the white knight in shining armor. And he comes, oh, I treat them right. You know, they beat you. They insult you. They do this. They do that. Right. So they fall for the sob stories. Which might not even be real. That these, uh, you know, Filipinas and these other nationalities, they give you these, these sob stories. Right. They give you these sob stories about, oh, in this country, uh, or, or, or in my previous relationship, sorry, he beat me, he did this, he did that, right? And these guys, what are these Western guys viewed as? A soft touch. That's how the Western man is viewed now because of what these guys, they go out there and, as he said, they try to humiliate the guys out there and say that, oh, they're too macho, they don't know how to treat the 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 the, the that women right and this and that right that's what they say but what they don't realize is that's harming the western man image because the western man is now seen as a soft touch so they get with the western man why because the western man is way more lenient he allows them to get away with the bs because he's already used to doing that in the western world that's what he's used to so that's the reality of the situation, man. Mm, that was actually interesting right there. You guys are going to have to help me dissect this one. But the part I just did talking it. about these men are losers, just say you failed or something and you leave your country. Is he referring to passport men? And if he is, yes, he he's is. lacking information. Passport men should be applauded. These are champion men who actually had the balls to pick up and leave a failed okay okay these are not you say that they're champion men. champions of what being simps i mean let's be honest man like let's be honest with the passport bro movement the whole movement is just a front for guys who want to indulge in their fetishes overseas that's really what it is so say it as it is man see austin holloman admitted that he got a fetish for for brazilians and and, and, and latin america but especially brazil he admitted that years ago you know but that's the thing just admit what it is though their champion men look at where they're going they're going to poor parts of the why ain't they picking up middle class upper class 
standard of, of, of women out there in these countries, they're not doing that. They're picking up the low class, the impoverished ones. You going over to these countries as a Westerner and you're going down on the economic food chain tremendously. You're going tremendously down on the economic food chain and you're providing for even single mothers as well. <clears throat> they bash single mothers uh, in the States, which I personally have an issue with them as well in, in, in the Western world, but I'm not going to go overseas and get with one. But they do that because they're limited on funds, they're old men, and let's be honest, like, you know, they know that single mothers, they can't get a guy, especially in Asia, is very frowned upon to marry a single mother. So that's what they do. You know, that's what they do. They go and they get with single mothers. They get with divorcees, right? And that, and they have to do that because that's what their value is. These are not even valuable men out there in these countries. They're not. Most of them are. Majority of them aren't even valuable men in these less affluent countries that they're traveling to. That's why they're getting with single mothers. That's why they're getting with low class. Because that's what their value is. They're low value men. Back in the Western world and overseas, man. The old Western country. These men are the real bosses. They are living their lives on their Look own Look what they're terms. showing. They're Look, that's what it's all about. Where their dollar can go further and they get more bang for their buck. They sound like pretty smart men. Yeah, bang for your buck. Yeah, okay. That's fair enough. Nothing wrong with that. But that's not the main reason why they're going there. Their, their leader, their pioneer, Austin Holliman, what he said, he said, is that bad? Meaning that the opposite gender in the West are so bad that I have to go overseas. You know, that's what the Passport Bro movement is defined on. It's not about, you know, yeah, or you get more bang for your buck, but that's not the Passport Bro movement. That might be the digital nomad movement, you know, that might be, an, but the Passport Bro movement is not primarily about getting more bang for your buck. Man. Up and accept you, loser. Now we have Passport Bros. So you steal all of our talent. You yeah. steal all of our, yeah. now you're going to steal our women because we know how to raise them, right? You piece of <laughs> Why you humiliate us for supposedly being misogynistic? Everything we did with these women was disgusting and wrong, but now you're going to come and marry them. And what are you going to put back in its place? Still all our women. Mm, that bit, that, that, that part, that sound like a hater. And he should be hating by the way he look. But you can tell he's not turning the lady's head. Well, you know, when he's talk about stealing, I mean, I don't really care about all that. But, you know, the point is, is that you guys are hypocrites. That's the whole point with what he's saying. In general, what he's saying is true that you guys are hypocrites, man. You know, you guys don't take any responsibility. Your behavior is terrible out there in these countries. And the passport bro movement, to be honest with you, is a disgrace. I would never join such a movement. And if I see these guys out there in those countries, I'm not even going to associate with these guys. Because to me, that's beneath me. That's beneath me to associate with men who are going out to these countries because basically they have bad experiences with the opposite gender in the western world you need more of a reason than that to travel to a different country either you're going out there you know to 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 see the business opportunities you're going out there to save on taxes you're going out there to you know learn the language or whatever it may be going out there for the opposite gender man that shows exactly what you are that you're a sex pack you can slice it or dice it any way you are a sex pat. I mean, you're not even a sex pat because you're not going to fully expat out there. You're a sex tourist, man. That's what you are. Let's keep it real. That's what the Passport Bro movement is. It's a sex tourist movement and they're trying to claim, oh, we're, we're Passport Bros to give it a new name. They're just taking an old thing. They're mongers, really. Really and truly, that's what they are. They're mongers. They're trying to give it a new name. Oh, where the passport bros. Come on now. Come on now. People are smarter than that. And that's why this movement is getting exposed everywhere. Even Austin Holloman, 
left the movement because he knew that that you know it, it, it's a joke. I mean, it's not going to go anywhere. It's too easy to expose because the people in it they show themselves, man. They show exactly what they are. So that's the reality, man. These passport pros, they're not winning overseas. They're destined to fail overseas because the reason why they're going out there is the same reason why they're failing in the Western world. And why is that? Because they're not focused on their own success, man. They're not focused on their own success. They're focused on what? Chasing the opposite gender. So they're going to go broke overseas and they're going to come running back home with a tail between their legs. It's on Real Man here, the truth of matters. If you've enjoyed the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you aren't already. And make sure to hit that notification bell so you're informed every time I upload another video.